visiting Mix941KMXJ.com. It is time for another edition for the Mix Pet of the Week. And, and this week we have got a very feisty one, such a good puppy. This is Bruno. And this is Lori with the SPCA. Now, Lori, can you tell us a little bit about Bruno? <laughs> Extremely happy. Yes. Um, he was dumped on the side of the road um, about 10 miles from Pampa, so okay. on Highway 60. And our vet said he is three months old, so he's a typical puppy. Very sweet disposition. He is a pit mix. I know. Um, very loving. Has spent a lot of time. He's been. We've had him. I think ten days. He spent a lot of time with Janet in the office. <laughs> She's been coddling him. Um, he's very, very sweet, and appears to be very easy to train. Um, good disposition. He's already been neutered. His shots are started. He's microchipped, so he yeah. is ready to rock and roll. He's ready to perfect to go. Home. He loves yes. to give kisses too. I see. He does. He's a big kisser. Well, no, Lori. I know people hear pit and they're terrified of that word, but I mean, I'm assuming just like with any other puppy, they can be trained and they're good Absolutely. dogs. You know, it's how they are raised. We have a pit right now that's been out there, and just because it is a full-blooded pit, I think people have that stigma that it's mean. But it was raised with a duck and a chihuahua, and the the owners one of the, the husband died and so the wife just couldn't take it anymore and it acts more like a, a poodle you know so it's all in how you raise them and this is a perfect example mm -hmm. someone can get it three months old and train it to be a sweet but you know it's all in how you train them so and uh, of course you do have a pretty pretty difficult screening process if people want to adopt dogs especially pets Yes, very much so. And we're the only shelter um, in Amarillo that actually has pits. So more so than most other animals, we are very concerned about what type of person or family wants a pit. We want them only to go to loving homes, and so our requirements are a lot more stringent to make sure that happens. Well, if you've been looking for a cute little puppy that loves to give kisses and will grow up with your family, well, Bruno will be that perfect dog. He's so adorable. Look, you want him, he don't is. you? Well, Lori, how does one go about adopting Bruno? Well, you can go out to our shelter Tuesdays through Saturdays, 1 to 5. We're at PetSmart, too, every Saturday. And the adoption fee is $85, and that gets the microchip, the spay and neuter, and uh, his shot started. Um, you can also look at PetFinder.com through our link, which is AmarilloSPCA.net. And um, we, we have lots of other animals out there, not just him. We have about 110 animals right now. Up for adoption. And they're all looking for great homes. Yes, they are. Forever Homes is our mission. And that home could be yours. So, Lori, thanks for joining You're us very today. Welcome. And Bruno, thank you. hopefully, we'll find you a home. Thank you for the sweet kisses. <laughs> and thank you for visiting the Pet of the Week here on Mix941KMXJ.com. Ready!